I was very, very poor when I was growing up in Thailand. So it was a huge, huge opportunity for me and it's such a blessing for me to move to the United States. Like I just still remember that day where I like went over the Golden Gate Bridge and I thought like my life was made. But then I realized I was the only Asian person in school and so I felt like very alienated and like looked different from everybody else. So I looked towards makeup and beauty. The first time I put makeup on was the first time I felt truly like beautiful like, inside and out. When I was really young, I literally did not go outside without wearing lashes. I wear them every single day. I got into UCLA and I was a pre-med major and then I graduated and then I realized that I wasn't happy doing that because I was much more of a creative person. And so I became a professional fine artist for four years. I sold my first like $10,000 painting when I was straight out of college. Like I thought that I like had made it and I was like, I, I did it, like this is crazy. I loved seeing like people get so excited and emotional when they got that painting that I made for them. So I'm like, how do I take my creativity and put it in like a product that is actually mass produced and scalable? That's sort of when I went on a product development journey and I literally just went through like down a rabbit hole in, in YouTube and just like learning how to product source. I networked with a lot of successful people in e-com and I got really inspired by them. Every single entrepreneur that I talked to was using Shopify and I was surprised at how quickly like you can build something, how fast you can get everything online and start making money. I finally came on the prototype that basically we launched with, which was a magnetic liner and a, a lash. Within the first day, we had over $1,000 in sales, and I just did not expect that. I was like, okay, this is really interesting. This is actually working. Every single month after that, we were doubling in revenue once we turned on the machine of ads. We spent like over $15 million on my face. The ads did well with me like being counter-facing and talking about the product. People were so obsessed with it, and we could not keep it in stock. I needed to hire people to help me. Now we have 70 people. You describe someone who's like influential as being very magnetic, like charismatic, right? That's sort of like how our products make you feel is like glamorous and magnetic. That's why we call it glamnetic.